Okay, uh, my name is Steve Mays from Solwise, and what I'd like to do now is a quick unboxing show and tell video of the AP615 Outdoor um, Access Point product from IPCOM. So this is an outdoor product, um, normally used as an access point, uh, but also could be used uh, for some form of bridging as well, but using the 2.4 gig um, 11N uh, protocols. So let's see what we get in the box. Which is the best way to open this. Okay. So that's what. Oops, some more. That's what we get in the box. So on the top, you've got the obligatory um, conformance specifications and also a quick installation guide. Looking in the box itself. We've got the uh, product itself, which I would say is about half the size of an A4 piece of paper and probably, oh God, got to be a good uh, two and a half inches thick, I would say. So I'll come to that in a moment. Also in the box, we've got some uh, rather substantial cable ties for pole mounting. So that's the normal way it's mounted outside. Um, not a big fan of using cable ties for fixing outdoor products, well any products really, but certainly outdoor products. Um, in my opinion, they're not very good long term, uh, the weather gets to them, the sun gets to them, and um, within 18 months or a year even, the product's busy hanging off the pole uh, by its cable because the cable ties have broken. But they're there in the box. Better go, to, go down to B&Q or go to our website and get a nice uh, stainless steel Jubilee clip for it. Also comes with the, uh, amazingly, these rather joke um, made in China raw plugs. Um, they're wholly inadequate for the task of actually fixing that to a wall. Uh, get yourself down to a local DIY shop, get yourself some decent raw plugs if you're going to wall mount it. What else we got? Uh, LAN cable, bit redundant really. If you're going to be outdoor mounting it, I can guarantee that LAN cable is not going to be the right length and it certainly doesn't look like it's an outdoor proof uh, LAN cable. So uh, stick that in a drawer and forget about it. Uh, what else we got? Right, we've got a little uh, plastic PoE injector. The device is PoE powered using a 12 volt uh, PoE. So don't stick 24 volt up it, don't stick 48 volts up it or it'll pop use um, the proprietary 12 volt PoE uh, for it uh, using this little injector that comes in the box. And to go with the injector, we've got a little plug top 12 volt DC power supply, which plugs into the uh, injector. So let's look at the unit itself. Uh, I say about half the size of an A4 piece of paper, I suppose. Um, on the back, we've got a row of indicator LEDs for power, uh, Wi-Fi, and uh, LAN connection. Uh, we've also got uh, two rather substantial uh, grooved brackets for pole fixing. Uh, so you can, and they're actually slotted, so you can actually put Jubilee clips around there to hold it secure in a pole. Uh, there are some screw logs on here, uh, which you could use with some decent screws and some decent raw plugs, not that rubbish that's in there. Um, but um, that's all very well as long as the wall is facing in the right direction. Um, on the bottom, we have a uh, weatherproof flap. This is actually a weatherproof flap with a cable entry exit on it. So let's get that flap off. Looking at the underside, under the flap, we have a um, screw terminal for an earthing tag. Uh, it doesn't strictly need an earthing tab, it's just there to help protect against um, static or um, high voltage in the atmosphere. Uh, next to that we have a reset button, for which you don't need a bent paper clip, it actually is a proper projecting button. And then we have two LAN ports, um, one is for LAN and uh, PoE power going into the device, and the other one is a cascade LAN port for secondary equipment on the pole, but no PoE comes out of that port. It's just data going to secondary equipment. So uh, that's the AP615 from uh, APCOM. Uh, sorry, IPCOM. Uh, just to recap, that's a 2.4 gig outdoor 11M product. Um, with a uh, in here we have a semi-directional antenna setup. Uh, so it can be used as an access point to cover a predefined area, 
or as a, uh, a bridging device. Um, my honest opinion though is I'm not a big fan of using 2.4 gig for outdoor bridging nowadays. Better probably to go for a two for a five gig um, outdoor bridging. Gives a bit of extra performance, a bit of extra stability, a bit of extra uh, speed. Um, but it could be used for that if you were just wanted to use a really low cost bridging device. So uh, that's it. Thank you very much.